Hey, how's it going everybody? In this After Effects tutorial, I wanted to show you a super quick way to link an object to the end value of trim path. So I've applied trim path on this shape layer and animated the end value. And as you can see, when I move the end value, the object is linked to that end value. And even if I move the path of the shape layer, the object is still linked to that end value. So that is really cool. There are quite a few ways on how you could go about achieving this. Um, the best way I'd recommend is to use the script that I'm gonna talk about towards the end, but I'm gonna show you how I used to do it earlier. Let's start by creating a path with the pen tool. I'm just gonna quickly add a trim path here and animate the end value of the trim path. All right, so now we've got this, and if I wanted any object to follow along that path, I need to create a path keyframe, copy it, and select the object, hit P, and paste that over here on the position keyframes. And now we've got the extra work of aligning uh, these position keyframes to the trim path. I'm gonna press Alt and drag to align it. And now we've got the object following that trim path. Just to have the same output, I'm going to auto orient this along the path. And I'm just gonna hit W and rotate this. So now we've got the same animation here. So yes, this is one way to do it. But when you decide to change the path, let's say, or the easing for that matter, uh, for example, here, let me easy ease this. I need to make sure that the trim path has the same easing. So the downside here is that I need to keep both in sync, both the trim path and the position of the object. That's the problem of doing it like this. Let's say I decide to adjust the path like this. What I have to do is copy that path keyframe again and paste it on the position, align it again, have it have the same easing, and then we've adjusted for that change in the path. So yeah, you get my point. It can get really messy when you're doing something complex. Let's say um, adjusting the easing here, I have to make sure the easing goes here as well. So it's a lot of work. So now I'm gonna show you how to do this with a paid script called Wayfinder. It's a $25 script and I think it's the best thing you can get yourself to save a lot of headache. Now let me show you the same thing again with Wayfinder. I've created the path, added trim path, and I'm gonna animate the end value of the trim path. So we've got the same animation now. Just open up Wayfinder. I've, I've got it already open here. Make sure auto orient is on and click the layer and hit attach layers. And you've already got a null that is attached to the end value of the trim path. Even if you decide to change any of these values, the null it will constantly be linked to that end value. And you can hold shift and, and parent any object or layers to this null. And even pre-comps, you can just parent it and you can have a lot of things going on. So it's super quick, super easy, and I think that it's gonna save you a lot of headache. Like I said, you can move the path and still have it attached to the end of the trim path. You can also change the easing and all of that stuff. So check it out when you've got something more complex hitting your plate. For the most part, you can get away with the first technique that I used. That's Wayfinder for you. And if this is helping you to improve your workflow in some way, please do leave a like and subscribe. I make these kind of videos. I love making these kind of videos for you and I love finding out workflow shortcuts and recommending them. You might also want to check out the quick tips playlist that I've made. I'll be making more videos here in the future so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.